Oh my goodness, you guys. Is this really happening? Are we really here? Could we really be back? And the answer to all of those questions is yes, we are back. So welcome back everyone to Zoo Tycoon 2. And many of you guys probably have no idea what this is and you probably have no idea where we are. So if you are a little bit lost, be sure to check the video description to the playlist links to our endangered species zoo series here in Zoo Tycoon 2. And we're actually at our forest zone of our endangered zoo right now, a zoo that encompasses several different zoo maps so that we can hopefully explore as many animals as possible and look at all these people look at this flood of people this is amazing oh my gosh i have missed 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 playing zoo tycoon 2 so much and last time we were playing it i just kind of made it a little bit too complicated on myself which was so much fun though we had turtle cove where every episode i would have to wait and you guys would vote on things and then i would add in the items that you voted on and we would have story elements and it's awesome oh look at we have an entertainer on the stage oh that was so cool oh and the spanish lynx has just given birth we need to go see that like now oh my gosh look at everything look at the mushrooms i totally forgot about the mushrooms oh and we have a wolf and it's thirsty okay we've clearly got a lot to do in the zoo already but yes what happened is last time i just kind of made the last zoo a little bit too complicated to keep up uh on a regular basis because i would have to calculate your guys votes i would have to add in new story elements i would have to make straw polls and it really 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 just slowed me down and i definitely 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 want to go back to turtle cove don't get me wrong at some point in the future and do more of those challenge based zoos but i know you guys have just been missing and hungry for plain Jane Zoo Tycoon 2 and oh my gosh that man has a little he's got a little lynx fanny pack on oh that's so exciting okay let's go see what the Spanish lynx baby looks like and look at all of these I totally forgot all of these archways were here oh this is so awesome this is so awesome but we have been running Zoo Tycoon 10 episodes oh my gosh that little otter fountain is so cute for so 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 long and we already have some really nice zoos so i've been getting tons what are you doing in here you greater what are you doing here you do not belong in here what is this nonsense i've got to move this guy he's supposed to be in this exhibit i have no idea how he got into the link exhibit i links exhibit i don't remember putting him in there he just wandered in there <gasps> and there's the baby lynxes oh my goodness you guys congratulations papa look look at mama with her babies right here this is the best oh we're back we're back you guys and she's got little ones oh that's so wonderful Look at her call her little cubs to her. Congratulations, mama. Oh, and she's taking care of them. She's making sure that they are fed and nursing them right now. Oh, I love this. And our wolf is thirsty. So let's jump over and make sure the wolf... Come on. Come on, bubby. You've got lots and lots of water. Why don't you want to drink out of it, huh? Well, let me go ahead and put down a couple of the little water things at the back for you, okay? What do you think about that? All right, let's see if our Ethiopian wolf is going to get something to drink. All right, he does not want to drink from his fountain or his little pond that he has over here. He just wants to drink straight from an actual water dish. <laughs> so we'll just have to let him do that. Come on, buddy. Oh, you guys sound so pretty. Over here, over here. Yeah, is that what you want? Is that, yeah, is that going to be better? There you go, guys. I'll get you another one so you guys can share. Oh, and look how popular they are. People really love them. I'm so glad. We probably have to finish setting up their exhibit. I have no idea what we were doing here last time. And I did think about starting up some new zoos. But you know what, you guys? I am so proud about the work we have done in our Endangered series. For now, we're just going to jump back into our Endangered series. And we're probably going to make it a little bit easier on ourselves than we used to. Uh, we used to be very, very strict in the Endangered series. Where we would make sure that we only put in like a certain rarity of animal. The really, the really critically endangered ones. And they had to fit all of the different themes for the different areas and I think we'll just kind of oh my beavers <gasps> my beavers I want to look at my beavers I'm so happy to be back with them I trapped myself inside of this spot there we go there we go oh this is this is joy and bliss being back in my little pond probably getting tons of leeches in my underwear as usual hearkening back to our very first episode of Zootang Mew 2 if you are not familiar with that it's called underwear and our leeches or we uh, leeches in our underwear and it was a really fun episode very first one we ever did that was pretty amazing oh look at all the beavers this is so cool hi little ones you guys 
guys are so cute. You guys are so cute. Would you put up with the catfish uh, since you are actually vegetarians? I wonder if I could move some of the catfish into this exhibit and if they would do okay. Oh, there's baby beavers. I probably need to start sending some of the beavers out because they've been breeding so successfully. But anyway, yeah, we've already got some really great zoos. And I did think about making some new zoos that we could work with uh, instead of returning to our old zoos. But then I was popping in and out of our endangered zoos and I just really love the work we've done. And it's so much fun to come back after a really long break like this and see what we made and be like, wow, look at the work we did with this fountain and all these flowers. This is fantastic. I hear peafowl. There's a peafowl. I forgot I even had peafowl roaming this zoo. This is amazing. And so there's so many things that we can see that we did that I don't even remember, little peafowl buddy. Where'd you go? Where'd you go, buddy? Oh, there you are. Oh, look, and there's your peahen. Yeah, there's so many things we did here and in the safari zoo and in the dino zoo. And so I actually am really excited just to come back, to come back and to poke at all of them and to just start adding in animals and taking care of our zoos and seeing how it used to be. There's a couple maps that the reason we had to kind of abandon them or the series is because uh, the modded animals caused them to crash or they just won't load anymore. The reason that we are doing multiple zoos where we play in like one medium map or we play in a small map and then we jump to other maps in between and we call them our different zones because we have quite a few we actually have um da -da 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 -da. and i'm just going to show you guys like we have and backups too because sometimes zoo tycoon 2 tends to crash so i just want to be upfront with you guys that's why we've had to abandon some of our zoos in the past so that's why we've jumped around a little bit but i think it'd be really fun to jump between the zoos starting again like island treasures we could jump between island treasures the marine zoos are the ones that have horrible frame rate issues because water is just just not processed properly. This is an old game, you guys. We're talking like 10, 11 years now. It's very old. Um, we're in the forest zoo right now. We have the safari zoo. We have the Asian forest zoo. We have the dino park. We have our old quest zoos that we could go and visit as well. And then we can just make new zoos. New zoos to just focus on things. Um, I don't think I have... Do I have bears here yet? Like, ah, I could add bears in here. But yeah, that's that's just basically the gist of things. I want to jump back in. I miss Zoo Tycoon 2. It's been highly requested. I've been wanting to come back. And if you guys want to start with a fresh zoo, then just tell me and we can go ahead and start all over. But I think it'd be more fun to be like, oh, ha, ha, we have, um, we've inherited this zoo from the previous owners and now we must care for it. So let us do our best and just start from here and just see what we've made. Look at this little indoor eating area. This is so cool. And there's just people standing here. Is this ice cream? <gasps> Do you guys remember all of the ice cream flavors we made in Coral Cove? Oh, the memories. I got myself stuck. Are you stuck too, child? I think this little kid's stuck. We need to rescue this child. I think I think she's also stuck. I think this, um, this picnic table's in the way, actually. If I move it, will that help her? Are you free now? She's free! Look at her. Oh, she just wanted some ice cream all along. I'm so glad we... Oops, I'm on top of the roof. I'm so glad we were able to help her. But yeah, so we're just going to jump in and see what is here in our forest zoo. Congratulations on the ice cream. You guys, what kind of delicious ice cream flavor is she eating? Oh my goodness. Oh, I remember those when we used to name all of the ice cream in Coral Cove. Oh, that was so fantastic. That was like the very early beginning of our, our entire channel. Oh my goodness. And the other thing is I want to come back into Zoo Tycoon 2 to draw ideas for what to do in our Minecraft Zoo Crafting series. Because Zoo Crafting was always meant to mimic Zoo Tycoon 2 and kind of take it in a different direction with new levels. Are you guys wearing sunglasses? No, it's just the... Yes, well, she's wearing sunglasses, but this is just the beaver teeth. I never noticed the beaver teeth on their hats before. That is the best. Oh, the zoo feels so alive. Look at everybody talking about how wonderful the beavers are. Look at everybody wandering the zoo. This is fantastic. This is beautiful. I have missed this so much. I really have. So now you guys know the plan. So let's go ahead and I will remember. Actually, I don't even remember all what's in the zoo. So let's go ahead and we'll take a tour of our forest zone today. And we'll start thinking about other animals to add in. I'm definitely Miss Peafowl. We have wandering free, uh, free range Peafowl who just kind of wander around the zoo. Fun fact, I just went to Detroit Zoo and they have the same thing. 
but we will look around our zoo and think about what to add in and i especially wanted to come to the forest zoo because we're working in the forest zone in our minecraft zoo crafting series so if you guys see anything that give you some ideas be sure to shout out in the comments over there because hopefully we'll be able to add in some really really beautiful exhibits and really just draw an inspiration from everywhere that's why i play so many games it's because i love drawing the inspiration in and i am so proud look at all of the people walking around enjoying the zoo this is the best okay so we saw the peafowl there's so many people coming in this really is the best we saw the peafowl we see that there's some beautiful mushrooms right here with a big old log for decoration um if you're thirsty sweetie you should stay next to you should stay next to where your food and water are <laughs> they've wandered away from the area that they're supposed to stay in so I'll put down some water over here we'll just have to like sprinkle water around the entire zoo for them but there we go so put some water down and so they should turn around and realize they have that in a second. Oh, she's taking a nap right now. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Hi, sweetie, look at you. Okay, so she's taking a nap. And then what's in this exhibit? I'm thinking, was it Martin's or something like that? Let's go ahead and go inside. Hello, I don't remember what you are. You're not an otter, right? Let's see, hang on, I can replenish. No, what are you again? I don't remember what this little guy is. He's really cute though. Oh, look at him. What a tail, what a tail. Okay, hold still for a second. This is, oh, the water mongoose. Okay, so this is our water mongoose exhibit over here at the front. The peafowl are happy because they have some new water. We have a dancing mascot. And the greater adjunct, which I always mispronounce, I think, they're so aggressive. I remember these guys because they will eat each other if we are not careful. They are, they are big, big birds. They are very aggressive. And in my opinion, they're pretty darn dangerous. Um, but yeah, they don't really like each other. They don't really like the other animals. Um, so they will cause trouble. We have lost some of the, the animals that used to be in here because they will eat one another. But we have a couple of them hanging out over here. I think they're native to India, if I remember correctly. A couple of them hanging out over here. And then one of them, oh, he was snoring. One of them was sleeping over here. Beautiful. Look at the models. Oh my gosh. Hi, buddy. I know it's been a while, huh? Nice to see you again. I hope you guys aren't being as aggressive as you used to be towards one another. And we'll swim through our leech-filled water and come over here. The kids are really excited about them. Or maybe they're just excited to splash around in the water. Could be both, to be honest. It really could be both. <laughs> maybe they're playing with like leeches and turtles over there. All right, and we've got a little water fountain and a bathroom. I don't know, this looks more like like one of those outhouses where it's literally just some walls and a hole in the ground. I have to admit, this is not the most sophisticated looking bathroom, but at least it's here and it has leaves on the top. I totally approve of that. All right, and the kid is dancing and having a great time at the music rock over here. The mascot's going around entertaining everyone. This is one of our restaurants so people can come and get something to eat. And then, oh, look at her. She's got a cute little Ethiopian wolf plushie. Huzzah. I need to put a, oh, we, I was about to say I need to put a gift shop over here. But you guys, we have a gift shop right here. It needs some more flowers and things around it. But we'll take care of that in a little bit. Are you okay, sir? I think my gift shop just ate a man. I think that happened. Oh, there he is. <gasps> And he's got the Ethiopian wolf plushie too. Yes, that's wonderful. I'm very happy to see that. All right, and then at the end of this little lineup of archways, we come on down and we have a zookeeper talking to a child about the new Spanish lynxes. We also have the endangered species uh, breeding center. That's what this is right here. So that they can do research on how to make sure that the endangered species can breed properly in our zoo. And we do get money actually from releasing extra species that we breed into the wild. It's really fun because we do have a special mod that Ben actually tweaked for us. So that all of the creatures we have, when we release them, if they have lots and lots of babies, we actually get more funds. So we really can breed endangered species as a sustainable model for keeping our zoos going. Because I do like to play with the challenge mode on so that we must, we must take care of all of the various tasks around the zoo. And we're not just like playing uh, with infinite money. So that way we have to take care of our guests and we have to make sure we breed our animals up so that that way we can have funds and also take care of the little endangered ones. <gasps> Did you see the little yawn? And look at the mama lynx swimming in the water. Oh, this is awesome. 
All right, so these are our Spanish lynx right over here. It was really, really exciting to see that she's given birth to two little babies. And then I think we're right next to the deer exhibit. And yes, you may notice a little bit of like frame issues now and then, but you guys, this is a very old game, <laughs> very old game. So sometimes there's just little hiccups and I apologize about that. It just isn't something I can do anything about. Even with Peapod, my extremely strong and powerful computer. Also, it looks like lots of people are lining up over here because this is a Jeep tour. Oh, and look at all of our bilberries, bilberries everywhere, bilberries and ferns and mushrooms. Oh, they're so cute. I actually did a pretty good job of decorating over here. But let's go ahead. I'm just going to kind of step inside and this, oh, look at the turkey. I forgot I even had a turkey. Look at you, gobble gobble. And it looks like it just took a dust bath, so it's relaxing. Oh, and look at the deer scratching against the tree. Oh, that's so cool. So the deer is scratching on this tree and we have ducks in our pond. They seem like they're having a good time. Hi, buddy. Are you having a great time? I'm glad. Hi, everybody. Oh, look, at there's another deer. And so we have another deer over here. The turkeys are going to have some babies. <gasps> She's expecting. How exciting. Congratulations, ma'am. I can't wait to see your eggs. The deer are growing from sub-adults to adults. We have multiple species of deer. We have marsh deer and fallow deer. And I think one more species of deer here inside of this giant exhibit. Oh my gosh, there's the herd. Hello. Look at you and your little tail. But there is this whole herd of deer here and you can ride a little, oh, look at him jump. You can ride a little Jeep tour through to be able to keep an eye on all the red deer and everybody else. Oh my gosh, I forgot how quick they breed. I really, really did. Hmm. All right, let's go ahead, keep an eye on everything. And in the future, we may, just like what we did in Wildlife Park uh, 2, make a big area, if you guys are interested, where we try to see if we can keep a balance of prey and predator, like a national park that we're in charge of watching over. Uh, so there would be predation there, and that can happen in Zoo Tycoon 2, but we might, we might just play around with that in the future, but not right now. Right now, we're focusing on running a zoo. Oh my gosh, that child's having the best time of his life. Did you see that? He is just thrilled. They love the Jeep tour. That makes me really happy. All right, and the turkeys are being taken care of. And everybody, you have to break for ducks. The Jeep tour is like, come on, come on. And the duck's just like, ah, running through. Yeah, it takes a little while to be on this Jeep tour because the animals stop, the animals stop them all the time. All right, so that's what's happening in there. And let's come on out. Hello, ma'am. Let's come on out. There's more entertainers. <gasps> Look at this field of lavender. Oh, I could just roll around in it. It probably smells delightful right here. We have lots and lots of mascots out. This is actually a statue of a deer. So don't worry. It's not one of our deer having escaped. And then let's see. Somebody is unhappy. Oh, do I need more bathrooms? Apparently, I need more bathrooms, so we'll have to look into that in a little bit. I do love the challenge of keeping our guests happy, too. And then we have all of this open space. I'm thinking black bears. I'm thinking wolves. I'm thinking uh, salamanders. You know, we can have a little bit of everything. And maybe some playgrounds and entertainment areas for the kids. I don't think we've really made them a proper playground yet. I think I put in a little playground over here. A plus 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 on all of this rock and flower action. This is beautiful beautiful and then over here we have our porcupine who's what why is he why is our porcupine in a box that's not the way to do things we have our european porcupine and there we go hi buddy and he actually needs a name and that's the other thing i love about this is that you guys can help me name them oh it feels so good to be back it feels like returning to my roots and i'm just so pleased tears in my eyes of joy oh thank goodness all right so we do have a little porcupine Last time we had two porcupines, uh, one of them attacked the other, so I don't know why that happened, and I'm not sure what a battle between porcupines would look like. Oh, and the turkey's gonna lay her egg! Let's go see, guys! Let's go see! Oh! Oh, look at all those little tail feathers! Oh, that's so cute! I would be the kid who'd be, like, leaning out the jeep trying to snag- Oh, what's this? 
We got an award! Yay! All right. As a reward for raising 25,000 in tour donations, Jeep Commanders is now available for purchase at your zoo. Yay! So we raised a lot in donations. We're actually earning a ton of money um, because I think our zoo is doing very, very well, which is wonderful. And we aren't even having to sell any of our animals yet either, which is awesome. Except the guests are starving and they need more bathrooms. So we probably need to step it up on taking care of things. But I want to see this turkey lay her eggs. Come on. Is it you? Pretty sure it's you. I think this turkey's resting. Is she headed somewhere? Where are you going, ma'am? Oh, she's gonna lay her eggs in the bilberry bush! Okay, you guys. How many? How many eggs? Oh, did you hear her? Oh, that's so cool. Where'd she put it? Tell me it's not under the jeep. It's almost under the jeep, you guys! What are you doing? Oh, turkey. I'm going to scooch it further into the bilberry bushes for crying out loud. Oh my goodness. Oh, listen to all of them. You guys, I forgot how amazing this was. I truly did. So yeah, we're definitely going to be diving back in. Look at that little egg. And we'll be balancing things. I do want to do the fun challenges that we've had in the past where we can do the voting. And we, you guys really, really, really control when we do those kinds of things. What happens in our zoo, what we add in, how the animals fare. It's really fun to do those kinds of random things. But sometimes it's just fun to jump in and see how our zoo will just naturally evolve. Look at all the beavers. So cute. So many beavers. And so that's what we're going to do for a little while. And just let me know. Let me know. Because all of you guys who are really, really into Zoo Tycoon 2 and you have been waiting for this day. And it's adorable catfish for ages. You'll let me know what you love about it and what you want to see. If it's new, if it's old, if it's just jumping in and having it on a regular basis for crying out loud Siri. Cleaning up the pee pal poo and just keeping up with all of the chaos that the zoo throws at us. Or if it's starting up something new. Um, or if it's, it's the challenges or whatever it is. Speak to me. Speak to me, my friends fill out a visitor survey here at our zoo and report back to me and i will be more than happy to come back to our roots and to be able to share share what i love about this place and, and share what we do here with you again look at all of these oh lily of the valley so beautiful so beautiful and we still have more animals to check on and take care of and so many new animals that we could add in so oh the wild cat the european wild cat there it is Oh, this is wonderful. I've missed this. I've really, really deeply, sincerely missed this. I don't think you can really become more of a zookeeper in the true feeling and sense of the word in a game than in Zoo Tycoon 2. So I'm glad to be back, you guys. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.